What's up guys, JetXC. So much back and forth with Stellar Blade. Uh, a lot of stuff on Twitter that I see every now and again about what people think of the character design, how they're happy nothing's changed, how she's attractive, and how I guess uh, a lot of video game characters in the past like 5-10 years have just been, I guess, very ugly, specifically the females. Uh, which I can understand in some sense because I, I definitely know a lot of male characters are always extremely muscular to the point where you could get a body like that but it like these guys look like they have two percent body fat the way they're walking around right but um yeah with that being said i i found something on twitter where the shift up ceo hong tai kim uh shared his thoughts on eve's design and this kind of goes into something that i think is apropos to video games to even like anime characters not uh non-fictional characters right so here's what he comments and this is an interview with games radar and he shares this he says honestly when i uh when i play a game i would like to see someone who is better looking than myself that's what i want i don't want to see something normal i want to see something more ideal i think that is very important in a form of entertainment this is after all entertainment targeted for adults so i i think i think that's a extremely extremely good point one these characters aren't real it's a video game so what happens is it's like when you go into customization right whether you're a guy or a girl you'll you'll do one of two things right maybe you'll make a silly looking character or you'll try to make the character look like yourself and typically when you make the character look like yourself i mean if we be honest right you're probably gonna go with something that looks a little bit more appealing than maybe you may feel that you are which is never a bad thing right but it's you trying to project like man i would look great if i look like this or wow this character looks great right and that's the same thing with eve we saw the model that they did a uh basically a um gosh what's the word i'm looking for uh that basically they did like a whole mocap of her body and captured her entire body face all the way down uh to legs right and honestly when you look at it maybe very slight changes to the face but i think that's just makeup and then everything else is the same the only thing that really changed honestly looking at the model and then eve is really the legs they kind of thicken up her legs a bit um the model has like kind of skinny legs like really skinny legs so they thickened her up in the leg department but honestly like that's about it and then she's got this insanely long flowing hair right and you know it, I, I just find it interesting because we see people going back and forth about attractive female character when if we really think about it when we like a character that we like a lot of the times we find them very attractive when we go to design our own character a lot of the times it'll maybe it'll look like us but it'll be a better version of us or something that we hope to look like this kind of reminds me of like and this is kind of off topic a bit but i'm assuming a lot of people that have played like stellar blade may be anime fans so i'm just going to give an example um there's an anime called jjk um season two ran a couple months ago there is a character in the show named Toji Fushiguro, right? And we meet this character. He's basically the villain. And everybody falls in love with him because he's he's cool. He's badass. And he's completely, like, ripped out of his mind. He's, like, studly. He's muscled up through the shirt, everything. And people like Toji so much that there was, like, a trend of guys... If you look on like YouTube and even Twitter, literally there's people just being like how to do uh how to get a body like Toji or Toji workouts. You know, cuz after seeing him and how badass he was, it inspired people to be like, "Yo, how do I look like this guy?" And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um so I think that's really interesting. Now, one other comment too that he made on Gains Radar which I thought was honestly I can relate to this so much, I'll be honest. So he says to Gaines Radar, when it comes to the design, we put special attention on the back of the character because the player is always facing the back of the character when they're playing, he said. 
that's what they see the most of. So we thought it would be pretty important. Or we thought this was pretty important. Guys, I mean... I, that's that's facts. I, that's that. I, honestly, I think that's part of the reason why... If you have... Let's say you have an attractive male character. Attractive female character. A lot of the times, some people will play the opposite gender. Just because... One, they find them attractive. And two, they're staring at their backside. I mean, just to be honest just to be very honest either if like i would say if you take like 10 guys that are playing like uh i don't know some kind of rpg where you have to pick the male or the female if the female is attractive enough and she's got a booty a lot of guys are picking the female just off of that alone um so i i find that funny how uh that was an important detail to them but i mean it it makes sense um it makes sense right so yeah, guys, I, I really want to know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Uh, it really adds into some perspective of what uh, Shift Up were thinking for Stellar Blade. And honestly, I, I can't wait for the game. But I think this this is the opinion of uh, Shift Up and their CEO. And honestly, it, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Later.